All right, the problem. What is the work done by a 20 newton force applied at an angle of 45 degrees to move a box a horizontal distance of 40 meters? Honestly, I believe this question is a little ill-worded. I, I would like to um, say there are going to be a couple of assumptions that we have to make. First of all, when we go to draw our sketch, which of course should be the first thing we always do, we realize it says at an angle, it's pushing the box at an angle of 45 degrees. Well, are we pushing down uh, on the box? Like are we standing above the box trying to push it across the floor? Or is it a really big box and maybe we're pushing it up at a 45 degree angle? So really the force could look like this or the force could look like this. It doesn't really specify. So we are going to make an assumption that it is a downward force because that tends to be the case when we do push a box across a surface. So this here is 20 newtons and let's just make this a little bit bigger so that we can enjoy the full view of it. So here's our 20 newton force and it is being applied at a 45 degree angle. Now we have to consider what the other forces are on the box. So we have the force of gravity acting down and we also have the surface, whether that's a table or a floor acting up on the box. Now the question is asking what is the work done? Well another assumption we're going to have to make is we're going to have to specify, we're going to have to think, okay, do they mean the net work? Do they mean the work done by the normal force? Do they mean the work done by the gravitational force? Well, we're going to find out that it could really only mean one thing. It could really only possibly be either the applied force that they're talking about or the net force. Because the normal force and the gravitational force are at 90 degree angles, those are automatically going to cancel out because they're going to be zero. Bye-bye. See you later. And what I mean by that is normally when you go about a work problem, oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to, I have to, I want to also draw in my displacement. So my displacement is 40 meters. Whenever I do a sketch, if it's a displacement acceleration or velocity vector, I don't attach it to the box. It just helps me in my mind differentiate uh, those vectors so I don't automatically think that it's a force. So um, the, f the equation for work is work is equal to FD cosine theta. If anybody's going to have a problem with this equation, it's going to be right there in figuring out what theta is and we're going to be talking about that. So uh, work times the displacement cosine theta. Well, theta is the angle between the displacement vector and the force vector when they're placed tail to tail. And that's the most important thing. So let's just take a look first of all at uh, the normal force. Usually what you do is you take all of the different forces, calculate the work for all of the forces, and if you're looking for net work, you add all of those together, and that's going to be the net work. So if we're going to consider the work done by the normal force, that is going to be equal to the normal force times the displacement cosine theta. Well, in order to figure out theta, let's take this displacement vector and put it tail to tail with our force vector. And we're going to see the displacement vector goes to the right. The normal force vector goes up. So theta is 90 degrees. Well, cosine 90 is zero. Bam. So the, nor the work done by the normal force is just going to be zero. It doesn't even exist. Now the work done by the gravitational force, if you already know what that is, way to go. Uh, it, it's the same thing. This is the work done by the gravitational force times displacement cosine theta. Okay, you could go ahead and figure out mass times g 
uh, you could you know multiply that by the displacement or you could remember that we should consider that theta first so the displacement is going in this direction we're putting the force in the displacement tail to tail and when we do that we see that the force and the displacement vector that is going to be 90 degrees again so cosine theta once again is zero meaning the entire work done by the gravitational force is zero so just to complete this the work done by the normal force is zero joules the work done by the gravitational force is zero joules here's a hint when you see a problem the first thing that you should do is to take a look at that displacement and automatically know that any forces that are perpendicular to that displacement get them out of there they, they're not contributing anything they're like the slacker sitting eating potato chips on his couch all day or on her couch all day watching the soap operas they're not doing any work okay so you don't even need to put those into net work so that takes us to the only force that is doing any work on this box is this guy right here, that 20 Newton force. So let's take a look at him. Uh, we'll do the angle first. This is our displacement vector. The force vector, again, we have to put it tail to tail of that applied force is at a 45 degree from horizontal. Now be very careful because this problem is easier, but when you have a problem that the vector is defined from something other than the same direction as the displacement, uh, you have to do some manipulating there. Sometimes you need to figure out what that angle is going back in your toolbox of information from geometry. So we know in this case that theta is equal to 45 degrees and so work of that applied force, we'll call it the work of A, is going to be F of applied times the displacement cosine theta we're just gonna plug in our values we know that the force being applied is 20 newtons the displacement is 40 and cosine 45 degrees now again this problem didn't say whether we were looking for the work done by that force or the network well if we were the work done by the applied force is going to be 5.7 times 10 squared joules but if we were going to total the network well that's going to be zero joules from the gravitational force zero joules from the normal force that we calculated before 5.7 times 10 squared joules from the applied force so really it doesn't matter what the problem was specifically asking for because both the network and the work done by that one force are exactly the same make it a great day it's, it's fun hanging out with you or I guess you could say hanging out with you bye, -bye.